Hey guys, what I want to talk about this video is building a solid foundation. Okay, so so many times we get up out of bed, what do we do? We go brush our teeth, go get a quick bite to eat, and then run, run off to work. Or in case, hey, maybe go golfing, right? But we also forget to warm up our body. Okay, so this is something not only you should do before you play golf or exercise, do an exercise program, you need to do this pretty much every time you get out of bed just to get the, the body going. Okay, so this is really important for the baby boomer generation, and this is going to help get your body ready for any activity you do, but it's also going to prevent those injuries. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys a quick uh, warm-up that you can do, again, in the morning or at night. I suggest doing this every day, and it's important to have this routine. Otherwise, it's just not going to stick. It's just, you know, anything that you do once every great while just doesn't, doesn't do the job. Okay, so I'm going to just show, and I'll have you do it real quick, Glenn. So the first thing we want to focus on is we want to focus on our shoulders. So stand a little bit over here so I can do my shoulder routine here. We want to get the shoulders warmed up, okay? So what I do is I take my hands straight out, my thumbs forward, and I just start doing small little circles, okay? As I go 15 reps, I go a little bit longer, a little bit bigger circles, okay? Then I reverse the direction, go the other way, okay? Then what I do is I take my thumbs straight up, and I do the same thing. Go forward, start little circles and then I work to dig. We're just getting those shoulders warmed up. Okay, switch the direction, and then the last thing I do is I go to my, my thumbs go pointing backwards. Okay, so go forward again, direction, go bigger, and then reverse. Okay, so I want you to go through that real quick for your shoulders. So you go straight out, almost hit me, yep, there you go. <laughs> go small, and then work to dig. And try to keep maintain that ready posture we talked about. Yep. Now I want you to reverse direction, go small, yep, and then work to big. And I like to do, you know, right around 15 circles for each direction. Now I want you to go thumbs up, so you go thumbs directly up, yep, like that. Now go forward first, go forward, and go to big, big circles. Good. And now I want you to reverse direction. Trying to maintain that ready posture. Okay, now I want you to go thumbs back. There you go. Now go forward. Bigger circles. Keep those arms up. There you go. It's going to burn a little bit on this one. And then reverse direction. Start small. And then work the big. Okay, relax a little bit. All right, so the next one I want to do is, again, shoulders, but working more your upper thoracic, your upper trunk. So you're going to do is the first one you're going to do is push your hands. You're going to clamp your hands together, and you're going to push them. You go forward, rotate, really try to get that upper thoracic rotating. It's like you're swimming. Keep pushing your hands together. Again, I do four rotations forward, and then I go backward. Push them together. Okay, now I want you to pull that clamp, those clamps hands, and I want you to go forward. So this time you're pulling, so it's hitting a different muscle. Okay, then I reverse after 15. All right, that's good. Why don't you try it, Glenn? Really work the upper thoracic, not just your arms. There you go. Rotate, yeah. Work that upper trunk. Yep, do 15 reps. Keep going. Keep those hands close to your chest there. Yep, and just rotate what you can here. You're pushing. There you go. Now I want you to pull. So you're pulling. Just rotate what you can. That upper thoracic going forward. And over time, you keep doing this every day, you're going to get more mobility. And that's what we want. It's going to warm up those muscles. So you go 15 forward and 15 back. All right, now let's work on the upper trunk rotation. So get, move over there a little bit, Glenn, so I don't hit you. So what I'm going to do is I want you to focus on just holding the club straight out. Focus on your toe when you do this. So what, this is more of a sequence drill as well, so it's going to help your golf swing. So we get to here, and I want you to push that, that hip, that lead hip going, and then the toes down. We, it's important to have balance both ways. See, we swing the golf club right-handed if you're right-handed or left-handed if you're left-handed, and we don't go both ways. I want you to feel like you're just swinging on the downswing. Rotate back and through. You're just going straight out. Okay. I just do 15 on each side. Rotations. Why don't you give it a try? Here, I'll move this mat here for you. Okay. Go ahead. Straight out. Okay. Toe down. Just rotate 
back, rotate through. Think about the downswing. There you go. And then do the same way to the left. So we want to do the same exact motion to the left. And that's a little bit harder for us because we're not used to that. I think, yeah, either. Yeah, it's fine. Just do a few. Yep. So I like to do 15 on each side. There you go. Toe down, toe down, toe down. So when you come through on that left side, make sure to get that left foot and take your time. We don't want to speed. Mr. Speed Demon here, slow it down. Yep. Okay, let me show you real quick, Glenn. So you just go straight out, toe, rotate the hip, toe, yep, rotate the hip, toe. And I pause. You know, I don't just do it really quick because the golf swing, at the top of the back swing, you should have a little pause. Okay. Now, when I do 15 each way, I go down to six iron posture, this. I do the same thing. This time, I want you to pay close to the spine angle. So we don't want our spine coming up like this. Otherwise, we're going to top it all day long. Okay, so we go left, or, yep, and then we swing to the left, and then we go to the right. Just kind of staying in there and rotating. Get that hip, same sequence. That's going to help warm up the hips and the upper trunk. Go ahead and try it. Get in your five, yep, six iron posture, so don't go down a little bit. Imagine where's the ball? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's down there. There you go. Now rotate. Boom. Now go the other way. Yeah, see, it's hard. You're not used to that going the other way. There you go. Toe down, toe down. Yep. All right, that's all right. And that's what we'll get to next after this, the balance, okay? So we got that. Now I want you to go ahead and, uh, you, you know, you can do this in your living room carpet or wherever. But try to keep a 90 degree with this front leg. That's really important. We want to maintain this angle. We don't want to have it going lateral. Okay, so try to keep it stable, and you're going to rotate back and through. This is really going to hit that upper trunk. It's going to, you're going to feel it in your core. Okay, so I go 15 reps this way, and then I switch it up. So we'll go ahead and try that. Let's go straight out. So get a 90 degree with this leg. There you go. Now maintain that same angle and rotate back, rotate through. There you go. Try to see how your leg's moving. Try to maintain that leg angle. That's the tough part. So really stabilize and just rotate that trunk as much as you can. There you go. Try to stabilize that knee. Okay, now switch it up the leg. You're going to go into the leg. You know, yep, really focus on that angle, stabilize it. Now, extend, yep, and rotate back and through. So, yep, you can rotate that, rotate the other way. There you go. Keep that leg from moving too much, that front leg. Good. And I do 15 again on each side. All right, Glenn, let's go through, let's do the uh, lower part of the leg right here. This I find very tight with most of my clients. So what we want to do is just a quick massage. I just like to massage using the shaft of the club. Just kind of work that out. You can also do the hamstring. But where you find it to be really sensitive, kind of, you know, spend some time working that out. And breathe. Okay, so now push that ankle. Yep, you're going to feel it stretch. Try to keep the heel on the ground when we do this. And also you'll feel the stretch of the hip. So you're hitting that hip flexor. And I just do nice and easy movements. Why don't you try it, Glenn? Yeah, just, yep. This, actually, let's do the massage, the cab out. Oh, okay. Yep. So that where it feels sensitive is where you kind of hone in where that's pretty tight. You'll feel the muscle. Mm -hmm. Kind of get it to relax, loosen up. That's kind of fascia. There you go. Keep going. And then what I want you to do after you do that for, you know, probably 30 seconds, 45 seconds, hold the club out like this, so that's your stabilizer. And I want you to feel that hip stretch a little bit. And then you're also going to stretch this part, the soleus and the ankle part of your, your lower leg. Yep. And you go back and forth. So you just kind of, yep, nice and slow. There you go. And you just, your upper trunk just kind of stays straight. You're just going back and forth, just trying to loosen up those muscles. Your hip flexor, you feel in that hip just a little bit stretch. Mm -hmm. Do each side and you're good to go. Okay? So this is a routine that I suggest not only you do before you go play golf or exercise, this is a routine that you should do to get you ready for the day.